Alright YouTubers, come back to you with another knife video. I know, like so many lately. I had a lot of good knives come in, so I like to share them with you when I get them and give me my first thoughts about them. So, this is a new Kaiser model. This is called the Corto, and it is a titanium frame lock, S35VN steel. It's got a nice G10. Uh, this is like a green and blackish G10 insert on like a uh, sandblasted, maybe bead blasted more bead blasted probably uh, finish on the frame lock nice Warncliffe ish it's kinda like a Warncliffe with a belly it's got I don't know how to explain the blade shape really that's I'm not sure what they call it exactly you know when they list it on their specs and such but I would call it a modified Warncliffe but I'm not 100% sure I mean that's what it looks like to me so I like the blade shape. I think it's re reminiscent of the 808 ZT. Kinda. This has more of a curvature here versus a straight down there. And then there's the CRKT Jettison. That's also a Warncliffe style blade. Similar how it kind of curves here. But they're all different, so you know they're not, they're not all the same. So anyway, just kind of some comparisons there. You do have a titanium pocket clip as well. Just oop, helps if you turn the camera there, genius. You have washers, phosphorus brown washers here. So it's very smooth. Um, three and a half inch blade. Like I said, S35VN steel, six point seven point six two five overall length. Your blade thickness is 0.14, so not terribly thick. Should be a good slicer. It's a draw point. They call it a draw point style blade. I. I don't know. That's kind of kind of pushing it, but I guess we can call it that. Uh, you got nice stone washing on the blade. The handle length is 4.125, so it's not a very big knife. Um, it's that's why I got these knives out because I felt like these were very similar sized knives. But you get a three and a half inch blade. One thing that Kaiser's really been impressing me on is how much how well they've been doing with the blade to handle ratio on their blades. I I love a blade that has enough you know the the whole entire handle is is taken up with that blade I'm not a big fan of blade handles that are huge and long and don't have enough blade with them I mean that's pretty much you're maximizing that three and a half inch blade with a 4.125 I mean you're, you're not gonna get much more blade in there the ZT on the other hand is a three and a quarter inch blade but about the same size handle if you look at it in comparison I mean almost identical and the Jettison is also a three and a half, three and a quarter inch, actually it's 3.3 I believe, but it's got a longer handle. So that's one thing that I've, I've been loving about Kaiser is they've been doing a really good job at maximizing that blade to handle ratio. Weight comes in at around 3.6 ounces. Weight on my scale just to verify that. Bam, 3.6, spot on. So it's a lightweight, good size EDC knife, three and a half inch blade, more than you need. Um, that's that's a great size there. It's a frame lock with a steel block bar insert, thumb stud opening. You have thumb studs on both sides. It's very smooth. This is you know like right out of the box. Your model number on this one is the. Uh, 3.44 inch blade, so just shy of three and a half. It's still um, model is KI4459. Designer is a Azo. Uh, it's an in-house design for Kaiser. Comes in the, your typical Kaiser packaging with the nice box, and then you got the box inside with your um, maybe it's stiff in there, and then you got your uh, zipper pouch. Really nice, really nice packaging. Uh, your price on this one is 166. I paid, I think, a little shy of that at Knife Center. There is two variations of this knife. There is this one with the green G10 inlay and the titanium, and then there is an anodized blue titanium with red G10. Kind of a weird choice. I would have thought the green would have gone better with the blue, and the red would have been better. I mean, I like the green on this, but. The blue and the red together, I didn't wasn't a huge fan, and that was the first one of these that came out. Um, this one just was just came out. Nice and I was, I think, the first dealer to get this variation with the 
green and black G10. It'd be really cool to uh, put some, you know, like a have someone make a little carbon fiber insert there. You know, you could do all kinds of cool stuff with this. It's just got two torque screws that hold it together on both sides. The uh, fit and finish is great. It's nice and flush. I mean, there's no. It's got some nice rounded edges on the knife too, so it's really comfortable in the hand. That's actually one of the best things about it is the ergonomics. It when I opened it and grabbed it, it just like melted in my hand. I was like, ooh, they're. I mean, they're really killing it with their ergonomics lately, and their designs are just doing awesome. I mean, th this is a very ergonomic knife, guys. You'll put this in your hand and be like, oh yeah, that is so comfortable. I feel like I could use that for hours and not even notice it. Um, and it's lightweight, so that helps too. Do have a little bit of milling here on the on the frame lock there at the top. So add a little nice custom touch. You got your typical Kaiser pivot. Your got a flat grind on this. That's what I thought. Nice looking grind. This should be a really good slicer. Nice. I really like that blade shape. I don't. I can't consider that necessarily a draw point, but I guess it's kind of a combination of a few different blade styles. So. But I really dig it. And you can see how the knife flows with the curvature of the handle. And you feel that in your hand. Um, it's just really ergonomic. Kind of reminds me of the Kyrie uh, in that same kind of regard. So, um, lockup's good. Got the steel lock bar insert in there. Centering was perfect when it came to me. You got your two standoffs there. Lanyard hole. Um, like I said, pod clip cannot be switched, so your lefties are out of luck. It's just a right hand carry only. And it's only tip up, which is the best way to carry anyway. So if you're looking for a medium size EDC with a good amount of blade, a nice steel S35 Yen, um, and not a flipper, you know, you're looking for something on washers that's thumb set opening, there you go. The Kaiser Corto, new for 2016, it is an exceptional knife. I'm. <laughs> Again, continue to be blown away by Kaiser for the money. Pretty hard to beat. Um, sub $200, almost all their knives are. And you get great designs, sometimes with custom knife makers, sometimes in-house designs, like the Rattler is an in-house design, and I love that one. This is the Corto is an in-house design. So they're doing a great job on their own, let alone the collaborations they're doing with, um, you know, Ray Laconico and Matt Cucciera and Dink, Dirk Pinkerton and um, all the different ones they've got on Mike Vigino's a recent one. So, pretty impressive, guys. It's a lot like this 808, but without a flipper and a little bit more blade for about the same handle and less money. So, it's hard to beat Kaisers. I'm, I'm telling you, they are on a roll. I, this is one of many designs this year. That I wanted to pick up and check out, um, and I'm, again, just really impressed with the quality. I mean, no blade play. Nice, beautiful stone washing on the blade. There's your Corto with the A Azo design, and your S35 VN with the model number up there. So, guys, go get one. They're awesome. Sub $200 titanium frame lock. Smooth. Great ergonomics, great great looking knife. It's a really good looking knife. Just pretty much a perfect EDC. I did that top five EDC video yesterday. <laughs> and I may have another ZT getting bumped out by a Kaiser. So we'll see what happens. But I'm really digging the way this feels and the way it carries. And it's lightweight. I mean, it's sub four ounces for a three and a half inch titanium frame lock. Yeah, guys. It's a winner. Thanks for watching the video. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we will see you on the next one.